Tonight, an I-team investigation into a repeat drunk driver who killed a woman. Yeah, the Registry of Motor Vehicles took this man's license away for life. But our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, found that has not stopped him from driving. Behind the wheel, that's where the I-team caught William Foley Jr. The five-time drunk driver who killed a woman had his license taken away for life. But we found that hasn't stopped him from driving. Mr. Foley, hi. Cheryl Fiandaka with Channel 4. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, can I ask you why you're driving? Why am I driving? No, you may not. We saw you driving and your license has been revoked. The I-team saw Foley driving on three different days. The 59-year-old lost his license after this June 2001 crash that left Christine Griffiths, a young mom, dead. Say hi. Police say his blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit. He later pleaded guilty and was sentenced to four years in prison. I was completely responsible and take all blame for the accident that occurred uh, that tragic night. I am so, so sorry from the bottom of my heart. That was fully at a 2009 hearing pleading with the registry to give him his license back. Christine's family was there too. How dare you? The remorse that you talk about is garbage. Foley didn't end up getting the right to drive. He made another attempt in 2019, but withdrew from the scheduled hearing after the I-team spoke to Christine's family about his plans the night before. I miss her. We all miss her. You killed my daughter. You've had prior convictions. Despite not having a license, Foley is driving. On this day, the I-team saw him leaving his home, driving a Mercedes with his wife in the car. And a suspended license, that's really an honor system if you think about it, so people can still get out there and drive. We contacted Christine's family to tell them we found Foley driving, but they were too upset to talk on camera. Foley told us he has a restricted license, but the registry says that's not true and sent the I-team a copy of his driving record, which shows the lifetime suspension still in effect. I received a letter from the RMV, and I'm back on the road. You're saying that the registry gave you a license back? Yes. Okay. Do you have any proof of that? Uh, not at this time. You said you got a letter. Can you show us the I letter? Do you have a copy of a driver's license to show us? I'll speak to my lawyer and be happy to provide that. Driving after revocation is a crime. Foley did not provide any proof that he has a license, and we did not hear from his attorney. We also checked back again with the registry and were told Foley was never granted any type of driver's license, and his right to operate remains revoked. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBC News.